Yo, what up, guys? It's Eugene Tang. Uh, so, in this um, in this video, I'm going to be covering principal component analysis, and I'm going to be showing you an example of image compression with Taylor Swift. So, um, just to go over this, I, I'll link the blog post in PCA. So, I mentioned it in my KNN video and my K-Means video, so I figured I should do something about it. So I'll, I'll just like talk about it briefly and then I'll show you how it works. It's like 20 lines of code, super simple, super easy. So PCA is basically some sort of dimensionality reduction slash compression technique. What it does is it's called principal component analysis. And what it does is it does a singular value decomposition, which is a linear algebra, uh, I guess, algorithm. Uh, and it does that on your data set and then you get components and each component uh, is going to be a vector and that vector is going to be a linear combination of all of your features. So what that means is uh, a linear combination of a feature. So for example, if your features are A, B, and C, a linear combination is A plus B plus C or 2A plus 3B minus C. Anything in which you start bringing in things like A, B, A, C, A times B, you know, A times C or A squared, that's no longer, that means it's no longer a linear combination. But the way the PCA works is that everything in PCA is a linear, com every component in PCA is a linear combination of the original features. And then the eigenvalues of the matrix are what denotes the number, uh, the percentage or the proportion of uh, variance explained by each composition. So eigenvalues are pretty, uh, that requires a lot of explaining. I'm not gonna go too far into that here. If you wanna learn more about that, um, drop a comment in the below and I'll like write an article and do a video on it. Uh, otherwise, you can probably just look it up online and, and you'll, you'll probably figure some stuff out. So anyway, let's get started. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get um, matplotlib and sklearn. And that's pretty easy. You just go to your command line, do pip install matplotlib sklearn. And from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt by convention, right? Uh, and then from sklearn.decomposition import pca. So we've already seen some examples of uh, dimensionality reduction. If you look at the KNN article and the K-means article, or one of those two, uh, I think both actually, I do PCA in both of those to reduce the number of dimensions from, I think one is 64 to two, and then one is um, 13 to two, uh, import and read. So we're gonna be reading an image, so we're gonna need the mread import thing. So, all right, let's get into it. So image is gonna be mread, and my image is taylorswift.jpg. <laughs> so let's take a look at this image. Uh, so this is what the image looks like in terms of vectors. So this is what the image looks like. So now one thing that is kind of important about, um, about the way that PyPlot works with images is that if you do cmap equals gray, which is a grayscale image, we're gonna be working with the grayscale image here. Uh, the grayscale image doesn't work on three-dimensional images. And so this is a three-dimensional image, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to do some processing first. So let's read it, let's get it as type. Let's make sure that we're getting it. Um, oh yeah, let me import, I forgot, haha. -ha. So we'll also need to import numpy. Import numpy as np. Uh, so we're gonna make sure that it's unsigned int, and then we're going to divide by uh, 255 for normalization. And then that's to bring everything between zero and one. And then we're going to make it so that it's the mean of the, um, of the axes. So this brings a two dimensional image. So now let's see what it looks like. So now it looks like this, right? So now it's two dimensional. Um, and what we're going to want to do here, let's just, let's show what this looks like PLT dot show. Oh no, dot M show. I think, yeah. PLT dot M show image. Uh, cmap equals gray, gray, yeah. Yeah, so there it is. So now we have the grayscale image of Taylor Swift doing a, a thumbs up and smiling. I love this girl. Um, so now let's do a transformation. So this is what the transformation slash compression is. I'm just gonna call it transform. Uh, and we'll take a percentage, which is the amount of variance that we wanna preserve. And basically, I'm gonna assume the percentage is gonna be between zero and 100, so let's just write that. It takes a percentage between zero and 100. Percentage is gonna be percentage divided by 100 because when we do in components and we give a number less than one, it'll uh, automatically detect that um, we're using 
PCA to do. Uh, uh, it'll automatically detect that we're instead of looking for a specific number of components, we're looking to keep a specific part of the variance percentage. Um, and then I think we just dot fit image, and then transformed is equal to t swizzle PCA dot transform image, and then we'll do the projection is equal to the t swizzle PCA dot inverse transform image. Sorry, not image transformed. And then oh, let's make this projection. Oh, I spelled transform wrong. Okay, there we go. Is that still what was going on here? Oh, huh. Jeez, okay. Uh, and then we'll just plot the image. So plt.m show, uh, projection, and then cmap equals cmap equals cmap equals gray. There we go. So this is our function, or yeah, this is our function. So let's transform, let's see what this image looks like at uh, 50%. Oof, that's blurry. That's not, you can't tell what that is. So let's see what this looks like at 75. And by the way, I'm using this as an example of like kind of what you should be thinking is like a good number of, a good amount of variance to keep. So 50 and 75 are clearly not very good. So let's let's up it to 85. We'll see how that how that is, you know? Usually I say like, I try to keep like 90, 95% of the variance or higher with PCA. Um, okay, so 85 is blurry. You can kind of tell what's going on. You can tell it's like a woman smiling and giving a thumbs up, but you can't really see her face yet. So here you can kind of tell you're like, okay, um, you know, you can kind of see a little bit better. I think when we get to 95, you'll be able to tell that it's her. So 95, you can pretty much tell it's Taylor Swift. It looks like a grainy picture from like the 1800s, but it does look like Taylor Swift. So 95 is a pretty good percentage to keep. And we'll just go up a little bit more to see what we need to get to, to get clear, a clear image. So 97 and that's like pretty much the original image it's a little grainy around the sides but you can kind of like you can you can make this out pretty well so yeah this has been an example of how pca works and uh in terms of image compression and this should be enough for you to get started if you have any questions or comments just drop them below thanks for watching and if you like this please give me a, a like and a subscribe okay all right see you guys next time